Welcome back to the StarCraft Editor tutorial videos. In this video, we'll be going through AI scripts for computer opponents. And we'll be talking about the difference between the AI scripts, how to place them on your map, and what exactly each script means. When adding AI components into a map, one must take care in deciding which script to use. A poorly chosen script will result in either a very easy map or an impossible map. So I'm going to help you with a few different bases I've set up and I'm going to create an AI script for each and kind of explain them to you to help you make a better choice when it comes to your map. The first base we're going to run an AI script on is this one. You know it says no military structures, it's just SCVs and minerals. The first thing you need to do is go to location and you need to drag a location box over the entire base like this and then we're going to rename the location and we'll call this one Terran base kind of so you don't get them mixed up when you're making the triggers and to make the trigger we'll just go scenario into triggers we'll make a new trigger for this player which is going to be purple player 4 and we want it always, so we'll just start at the start of the game and the AI script will continue through the whole game. They won't ever lose what they're doing. Next, and you want to go to R and run AI script to location. The script we're going to run is Terran Area Town. Area Town means they will mine resources they won't build any military units and they'll simply use the units that they start off with within the location. They can defend themselves though, so the SCVs would come off and attack you if you went to attack them. And at the location you just choose the location. Next we'll do this nice big Protoss base up here. So once again, make sure you select the entire base. Rename it as Proto Space, and we'll go make a trigger. So this one is for Teal, play three, and you want it as always. Run the ice script to location. This time we're going to run a campaign script. Um, obviously if you choose the race that your location isn't on, it's not going to do anything. It's going to try and build Zerg or Terran units when it has Protoss buildings and that's not going to turn out well. The difficulty means the tech level that the base will go up to. Campaign AI scripts don't expand and take and build new bases. They will just use the buildings you've given them and they'll create units and they'll go attack people. Easy means they'll just build units that they can. Medium means they'll take up to a, to a medium point, which is like scouts for Protoss kind of thing, just to a little bit of air. Difficult means they'll get everything and upgrade the weapons to a medium level. Insane means they'll get everything possible and then they'll come kick your ass, to put it simply. So we're going to make these guys insane to like put a challenge. Make for the Proto space, and we'll say finish. And the final script down here at the Zerg base. Go to triggers, make a new one for player two. Always run AI script location, and with this one. We want custom. What a custom level does is basically it's the default AI script put in a skirmish match between players. If you put computers in a free for all, this is what they do. They build a base, they tick up, they expand, they do everything a player should do. So we've just given this guy the starting units, so he'll go from there. And the difference between the expansion and the normal means they just won't build the expansion units. And one of the Zerg base. Like that. So these guys 
Well, the Protoss Alpha is going to win here because they're going to build units straight away and they're probably going to rush these guys horribly and these guys are trying to build up a little bit. But yeah, that's the basics of AI scripting to make computer opponents. As you might have noticed, there was other AI scripts there. So just make a random one. The just run AI scripts are very limited in what you can choose here and they'll just send every unit of that player to go do these things which aren't very imaginative. The other scripts were set players to enemies and allies, so useful for changing that in the middle of a game. Value areas higher ground, so if you're trying to play like a king of the hill kind of thing or say you were defending a hill and you wanted the computers to attack that hill and not your base kind of thing, you use that. And the bunker and the transport entering is um for cinematics, which you'll see in a later video I do. So thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you watching the next one. Thank you.